What's up guys, this is Saurabh and in this video we will be looking at how do we install desktop environment and RDP server onto a, uh, onto a Linux virtual machine. If you want to see how do we create a Linux virtual machine in Azure, you can go ahead and check out my previous tutorials. In this tutorial, we will be trying to RDP to our Linux virtual machine. So as you can see, I am on my dashboard and this is my virtual machine Ubuntu server that we created in our previous tutorial and we used the private uh, we, we used the SSH key pair we generated the SSH key pair and then we interacted with our virtual machine so let's get started so first of all I will launch the bash I need to SSH to my Linux virtual machine. I'll click on connect and I'll copy this. Okay. Where's my bash? We are inside our virtual machine now. So first of all we will do sudo app get update so you can note down these commands or maybe I'll write a blog and I'll list all the commands there uh, on my blog if I forget please uh, someone remind me that uh, so that I will put the link in the description after sudo apt get update we will install the desktop environment so for that we will type sudo apt get install xfcp4 this is a lightweight uh, desktop environment for uh, linux it will take some space I'm totally fine with that Y enter so this may take some time once we are done installing the desktop environment then we will install and configure a remote desktop server now XRDP is an open source remote desktop protocol server that is available on most Linux distribution and it works well with XFCE so we will install XRDP on our Ubuntu VM and then we will try to um, uh, first we will restart uh, first we will tell our RDP server to use uh, XFCE uh, as desktop environment then we will restart our uh, RDP service so that the changes that we have made uh, take effect uh, are into effect and then we will try to RDP to our server don't worry I am just telling these steps and we will we'll be issuing commands for each of this step once this is complete this takes some time meanwhile I want to tell you guys a very interesting thing so if you guys uh, want to try some free labs uh, even if you don't have a subscription but you still want to try and play with Azure so there's something known as, as Microsoft Azure free labs uh, there are self paced labs that you can try I have one of the labs here you have hands-on labs, self-paced labs, instructor-led labs, self-paced labs are absolutely free. For example, you can play with availability zones, Cosmos DB, you can create a bot, um, pretty much anything, you can create virtual machines, you can create Xamarin apps, you can try all these labs for free, absolutely no account is required, no Azure account is required. So this thing is very interesting. I in fact, so as you can see, this is a this is a lab for Azure Virtual Machine and Compute. 
and it lists the steps and I can start the lab. All I did was just I, I went to uh, this portal which is uh, this this portal and then you can search for the lab click there and then you can uh, you you will you will have to log in using your Microsoft account and then you can click on start the lab and then you will you will get an RDP file that you can log in and then you can play around with these labs so if I click on start the lab so I can deploy a Windows Server 2016 uh, data center virtual machine in Azure so that gives me uh, practice for free even though I don't have any Azure account and you can do this for many things for many of the Azure resources so this is very cool because even if you don't have an account you don't have a credit card or something that's rare but still um, you can go ahead and still play with it um, let's look at our dashboard mm, it's still running maybe I'll click on I'll log out from here so that we see the whole process meanwhile this gets completed okay it's completed but I'll still throw light on this uh, let's wait for a while okay so looks like our desktop environment has been installed next what we want to do is install our rdp server so we will do sudo app get install srdp sudo app get install srdp enter yes i want to install that this should not take much time yep done now we have to tell xrdp that we just installed to what desktop environment it should use so as we already installed xfce4 so we want to tell xrdp to use that so pay attention here you just have to type this session program center okay now we want to restart our xrdp ser server so that changes take place so i'll do sudo servers xrdp restart Okay, once that is done, now when we RDP to our Linux virtual machine, we need a username and password. But as as we know that we are doing SSH to our uh, Linux virtual machine, so we don't have an account uh, by using which we will be RDPing into our Linux virtual machine. So we we need to create a user account using which we will RDP to our Linux virtual machine so let us create a user and Let us create a user and give it a password.
so we have two options either we can create a new user or I can I can create a password for the current user that is Saurabh so maybe we will do that the other option is you create a new account you make uh, uh, that account sudo and then give the password for that so we are fine with the same account Saurabh you can add a new account that should be easy so we have given a password for uh, the Saurabh account that we are using and now uh, the most important thing you know for to, to RDP to our Linux virtual machine the port 3389 should be open because that is the port that we use for RDP if you are using Azure CLI you have a command that, that you can fire to open the 3389 port but for us we have to go to Azure portal and allow that inbound rule so I'll click on networking and add inbound port rule not a custom I want RTP these are already there you can create your custom inbound rule also port will be 3389 priority this is also fine I will make it 1100 RTP description ok fine click on ok now once this port is open then only we will be able to RDP to our Linux virtual machine so we have to wait um, till this port is open it will take some time and then we will try to RDP to our Linux virtual machine so it says that it's created security rule it's done but still it takes some more time to get properly reflected so what I'll do is I'll open this type mstsc and we want to connect to our virtual machine and just go to the overview and this is our public IP we will enter that here 1378.164.110 and click on connect if everything goes right we will be able to RDP to our Linux virtual machine and see the graphical user interface we got this error don't worry the point is that we just have to wait for some more time and then we'll be able to RDP to our Linux virtual machine uh, as I said it, it takes some more time even though the notification says that it has created the security rule or inbound rule so maybe I'll try again no looks like I'm having a bad day today let's wait for some more time and then we should be able to RDP to our Linux virtual machine so I really hope um, this trick will help you guys uh, because once you are able to RDP to your Linux virtual machine you can use the graphical user interface and do all sorts of things and if you follow the Microsoft documentation it's uh, it gives the right information but 
it may be daunting to follow along for newbies or something so i guess this video will really help you guys so i'll try my luck once again and click on connect and uh and i really hope this time it should open Nope. All right. So yeah, till it is configuring that, let us come back to this thing as your free laps, self-paced laps. So if I click on start the lap, so it will give me some instructions and I'll be able to create uh, Windows Server on uh, Azure so you can um, go ahead and try these things all you need is a Microsoft account free Microsoft account and you can try these laps for free what I'll do is I'll close this as of now your remote session will yes I want to and let us give it a try once again yes as I told you now it is working so it took almost one or two minutes to properly set that inbound rule I'll click on yes awesome now we have to give a username and the password that I entered and if everything is right we'll be able to see the graphical user interface and I click on OK and boom here we are seeing the graphical user interface of our Linux virtual machine congratulations I want to use the default config welcome home I'll click on file system right click open and now you can play around so i really hope um, this video will help you guys uh, especially the new ones and please subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more i'll see you guys in the next video if there's anything don't forget to comment and please share the video i'm looking forward to you guys thanks